Recently, the third season of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous released a teaser trailer focusing on a brand new dinosaur. This animal was revealed as being a monstrous asset left on Isla Nublar by Dr. Wu during the fall of Jurassic World. And it so far marks the third on-screen appearance of a legitimate man-made abomination when it comes to hybrid species. Now we don't know too much about this creature just yet, however, the fact that it even exists opens up a lot of new questions and story possibilities for the franchise. Especially due to the fact that this one in particular was created in extreme secrecy. <laughs> Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now, for today's video, I wanted to talk about E750, the newly revealed science experiment gone wrong that many people are understandably comparing to the Indominus Rex. Now, what makes E750 so interesting to me is the fact that this is the first legitimate human-created dinosaur that we've seen in nearly three years. The last one we saw being the Indoraptor prototype that got killed in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now, what makes E750's existence so intriguing to me is the fact that its reveal comes a few years after the filmmakers made that point of saying that future Jurassic Park movies will be more focused on the paleontological side of the franchise instead of these hybridized monsters. To be fair, nobody ever said that there wouldn't be another one of these popping up outside of the films, and in the context of the actual lore within this franchise, we do factually know that Wu was working on a lot of other experiments just by paying attention to the first Jurassic World movie alone. However, the introduction of a new one of these creatures is pretty surprising in a lot of strange ways, most notably the fact that it existed around the same time as the Indominus Rex. But for some reason, this one got put on ice and left on the island while everyone else escaped. Dr. Wu even set up a special generator that would have made sure that the animal stayed in suspended animation, or something, whatever that ice thing is, while everyone else was able to escape. So whatever this thing is, a lot of time and effort went into it during the geneticist's stay on Isla Nublar. You know, when it comes to dinosaurs like the Indominus Rex, this was an animal that Henry got direct authorization to create by the park's owner himself. And of course, the Indoraptor was the culmination of Vic Hoskins' work that was secretly in the planning for years at Jurassic World. So when it comes to E750, this is where things get different, this thing just screams science experiment gone wrong to me personally. And I can't help but wonder why Dr. Wu felt the need to create this when he was already working on the Indominus. Now, when it comes to hybrid dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park franchise, they've technically been here ever since the beginning. I mean, I can remember Chaos Effect being a pretty big deal after The Lost World came out, and even during the time of The Lost World, Steven Spielberg had that whole animated series planned with things like the two-headed T-Rex and that three-headed dino slug monster thing. And during the beginning of the Jurassic World era, the brand found incredible success introducing the much more realistic Indominus into the canon that I personally felt like could exist in the real world. So the later revelation that yet another one of these genetic freaks was laying in wait on Isla Nublar, it doesn't necessarily shock me or anything, but it does leave me wondering why it was created by the scientist in the first place. Think about it, if Dr. Wu had plans to create whatever he wanted in the future, like the Stegoceratops or any of those other hybrids we saw teased in Jurassic World, why would the creators of Camp Cretaceous go out of their way to show a specific hybrid or monster or whatever it is frozen in a secret tube and being kept with the utmost security? What does any of that mean? Is this something that the doctor had planned after the Indominus Rex was rolled out? Or was this something that he'd created for some sort of other weird purpose we don't know about? If it was just a science experiment gone wrong, you'd think he would just euthanize the animal and move on, but it's not exactly what happens here. Also, what's going to happen to E750 when the actual episodes come out? We still haven't heard from Manticore yet, and you know a rival genetics company would love to get their hands on something like an Indominus Rex or Indominus adjacent clone now that the park is gone and the island is abandoned. I'm of the opinion, personally, that this thing will more than likely 
die on the island after coming across a much larger T-Rex or possibly even getting killed by the characters themselves. I don't know for certain, but there's literally a ton of different ways this could go down when Season 3 is delivered to us come May. Whatever they end up doing with this dinosaur, just the fact that it exists proves to be a really important part of Jurassic World lore, especially deep lore. And since Camp Cretaceous is supposed to tie into Dominion in some way, shape, or form, well, I think E750 could technically be a part of that crossover as well. I'm not saying it'll be in the movie, I highly doubt that, but in theory, this dinosaur is pretty important. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my in-gen executives. I'd also like to thank all of my parkers and in-gen hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing me again. See you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.